Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Wonderfully Made. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Today I have a tutorial slash get ready with me, but it's a little bit different because I'm using products that are on sale. Most of the products that I use to create this look are products that are now on sale either at Sephora, Ulta, or MAC. And I purchased these doggone products when they were regular price, but I wish I would have waited. <laughs> Which goes to show you, you don't always have to rush out and get the newest thing that comes out because it may end up going on sale and you can save a few bucks. But these are products that I really, really like. I really enjoy using them. I would totally recommend them, especially now that they're on sale. So as opposed to just filming a video recommending these products because they're on sale, I decided to film a video using them and recommend them to you. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm just going to get to the video. But this is the look that I created using products that are on sale and I actually created two different lips for this look so if you want to see how I created this look using products that are now on sale then please stay tuned. So the first thing that I'm going to use that's on sale at Sephora is this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and this is the anti-aging one absolutely love this primer this is the largest size that they have and it is now eight dollars at sephora regular price is 24 dollars so i'm just going to prime my eyelids So for my eyeshadow look today, I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. This is actually the, what's it called? Object of Desire Face and Eyeshadow Palette. Now this came out during the Christmas season and I purchased it then. It was $69. <laughs> now it is $49. But I wanted to try his eyeshadows and some of his other face products. And this was an opportunity for me to do that. He also released that large eyeshadow palette during the holidays. I think it had 20 shadows in it. This one only has six eyeshadows, a blush highlighter, and bronzer. Um, and I actually really love the colors in here. Now it comes in this gold packaging. And as you can see, it is full of prints. So these are the colors that's in the palette. And I love this little tassel here. This thing is, oh my goodness, it's full of prints. You can tell I use it, can't you? Um, but yeah, the colors are right up my alley. You have nice purple and um, really purple and champagne type of shades in this palette. You have a blush, bronzer, and highlight there. And so yeah, this is what I'm going to use for my eyeshadow look. So I am getting ready for work today, so I'm not going to do anything too dramatic. But I'm going to take this brown shade right here, which is almost like a satin matte shade. And I'm just going to use this as a transitional shade. Now I have used this palette to create really pretty evening looks but it's also a really good palette for a nice everyday look so the next i'm going to go in with this purple shade i'm actually going to start with this lavender like shade right there i think i'm going to start there so i'm going to use my mac 252 flat shader brush And just place this color all over the lid. And I wouldn't be filming a video if Lala didn't bark. I'm 
Now this is going to be a fairly cool tone shade. And of course I have hooded eyelids so I always bring my eyeshadows above the hood or above where my skin flaps over if you can see that right there. I bring it above so that when I open my eyes you can see the colors. However, I do want to say that these Marc Jacob eyeshadows are really good. I can't even deny it. They are pigmented. Um, they go on very evenly. I don't I haven't experienced any patchiness in using this palette. Um, so now I'm going to go in with this purple shade in the outer V area. Now one thing I didn't mention about this palette so far is that it does have some fallout. And that is why I am doing my eyeshadow look first. Now I find that if you tap your brush and pat the eyeshadows on as opposed to swiping them on it you don't have as much fallout but yeah there is some fallout here and I'm just placing this darker purple in the outer V and again this is going to be a very simple eyeshadow look because I'm not going to be doing much more than what you see me doing now and then I'm going to take my MAC to, what is this? This brush is so old, I can't even see the numbers. This is the MAC 213. And I'm just going to blend out the edges. And I'm only blending out right where that line of demarcation is. And I was going to just leave it like this. Let me blend those two colors together a little bit better. Now believe me, this could be a totally put together look just like this with only these two colors. You know, once you add your liner and lashes, if you're going to wear lashes and your full face, this would be very pretty just like this so you could create a really nice look with two colors however i do want to show you at least one more color for from this palette so i am going to take this champagne-ish my light is probably washing it off but this is like a pinky champagne shade and it is a satin glittery type of shade and i'm just going to take a little bit of that and place that right on top of that lavender shade. Concentrating primarily right there in the center and in the inner tear duct. Now this shade has lots of fallout. Let me see if I can show you guys without spilling it everywhere on my clothes. Um, but yeah, as you can see right up in here, there's lots of fallout from that shade. So like I said, you just have to be careful with this palette because it does have fallout. And I'm using my MAC 242 small shader brush. And so now I'm going to take some of this lavender shade that I placed on the eyelid initially and just blend this out right in the inner third of my eyelid. And I'm using the MAC 221 brush this is a really small blending brush. I really like it when I'm trying to uh, blend out a precise area in 
then I'm going to go over that with the MAC 213. I'm not adding any more product on here. Yeah, so I did use this lightest shade here. It is a shimmery satin type of shade, which I usually don't like to use in my brow bone. But because I'm just trying to use colors from this palette only, I went ahead and used that in my brow bone area. And then I just blended it out with the same MAC 213 brush just to kind of, you know, take some of that shine out of it. Another item that's on sale at Sephora is this little sponge. This, this is from the Sephora collection and it's called the Studley Sponge and Travel Case Set. I absolutely love this. This was a Christmas present from my son. And it is just a little sponge, you know, beauty sponge holder. I really, really like it. It's so cute. Um, it's regular price is $18 and it's now on sale for $11 and I have used this sponge before. I really like it and I'm going to use it again, but excuse me, I need to go wet it. Okay, so the sponge is now wet and I don't know if you can tell from when I showed it to you initially, but it is substantially larger now that it is damp. I actually really like this sponge. It has the consistency of the Real Techniques sponge, but it's a lot softer and it, it feels sturdier. <laughs> That's not the word that I'm trying to use, but it feels like the quality feels better. Like this one won't fall apart as quickly as the Real Technique beauty sponge does, which I love those, but this one, I really, really like it. So anyway, and I'm just going to use a cream foundation that I have from Fashion Fair. Now I will now, I usually use this blender for concealer, but I wanted to try it out with a foundation. And I think this particular foundation is a little bit too thick to use this sponge. So I am going to finish my foundation with my MAC, what is this, 170 foundation brush. This one is, it's a, this is a very dense brush. And because this foundation is so thick, I think I need a brush that is a bit more substantial than the sponge so that I can get the coverage that I need. The beauty sponge was shearing it out a little bit more than I wanted it to. For every day for work, I don't need full, full coverage, but I do like to, if I'm gonna wear makeup, I do like to cover up my hyperpigmentation as much as possible, but have it still look natural for work. So the, another sale item from Sephora is the Sephora Collection Highlight Low Light Face Contour Duo. I absolutely love this. Y'all do not sleep on these contour sticks from Sephora. They're really, really good. I have the one in the shade Deep, and on one end, of course, is the highlight shade, and I'm trying my best not to overdo it because, again, I'm only going to work, but I wanted to film this video, so I wanted to use all of the items that are on sale right now in the beauty world that I own and love. I paid regular price for all of these products and I really would probably buy just about everything again. And so now that they're on sale, I certainly would recommend these items. And on the opposite end is the contour shade. 
I'm only going to contour very lightly. Nothing too dramatic. This sponge is excellent. Oh, I love it. It is blending out this highlight or concealer. I don't know, I guess. It is blending out this highlight shade effortlessly. So I really like it. So now I'm going to use the side that I used initially for my foundation to blend out the contour shade. Now, my favorite, my favorite brush to use to blend out cream contour is this brush by Sephora. This is the Pro, yeah, this is the Sephora Collection Pro Small Stippling Brush. Love this brush for cream products. The only reason why I didn't use it to blend out my contour today is because number one I'm not going for a really strong contour and secondly because I'm going to use a cream highlight that I'm going to use this brush for. Love this brush. The regular price for this brush is $32 and it is now on sale for $15. I'm so tempted to get another one. As a matter of fact I'm probably going to get another one. It's perfectly dense but it's not too stiff it's not flimsy love this brush i just talked myself into getting another one but yeah so i'm going to use this for my cream highlight in a minute but this sponge it did a pretty decent job now normally the highlight would be enough for me for every day but i really like this revlon color stay concealer which I believe regular price is about nine or so dollars, nine or ten dollars. And now it's on sale at Ulta for I believe six dollars. So I am going to use that just to lighten. Just to conceal and lighten some of the darkness underneath my eyes this morning. And I'm going to use the other side of this beauty sponge. And you see how that just lightened it up just a tad bit because I am a little bit tired. And I'm going to take a translucent powder to set that and just use whatever translucent powder that you have. But I'm going to be using Sugar by Fashion Fair. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the palette and I'm going to use this purple shade, the same purple shade that I used in the outer V area for my lower lash line. And I need to make sure I dust off my brush so that I don't have too much fallout. Not going for nothing too dramatic, so I am going to take a little bit of that lavender shade though and blend that out. I need to set my foundation really quickly and for that I'm going to be using my Fashion Fair powder in the shade Toffee Caramel just to set my entire face and I'm using my MAC 135 brush. I really like this foundation. I mean, you can still see my hyperpigmentation, but my skin looks even and smooth. I really love this foundation. 
and I love that contour stick. You can see that these areas are highlighted. You can kind of see the contour a little bit, not too much, but perfect for every day. I am going to go in though with a little bit of this powder contour and this is by MAC. This is called the All the Right Angles Contour Palette and this again is a sale item. This is on sale for $24 at MAC. It's regular price $40 and I purchased it when it was not on sale. I wish I would have gotten it on sale. I love this palette. It is, it comes with a powder contour and a powder highlight and a cream highlight. So I'm going to be using the powder contour and then the cream highlight. I'm going to go ahead and take this Hakuhodo brush from Sephora. This is also on sale. I believe this brush was like, I don't know, 40 or $50 and I think it's on sale now for, I think it's about $25. And this is the collaboration between Sephora and Hakuhodo. I don't own any Hakuhodo brushes, but this one is really soft. This is the small teardrop brush. I really like it for highlight to set your under eye concealer um, as well as to contour. I'm just going to take this contour powder and just contour ever so slightly. I'm trying to keep everything really soft and natural because again, I'm going to work today. So this a uh, contour palette comes in, I believe, four shades. And I think I have the deepest one. I've gained quite a bit of weight, so I do like to contour underneath my jaw line just to kind of camouflage the double chin that I have going on here. <laughs> and so now I'm going to go back in the Marc Jacobs palette for blush. And I'm just going to use this brush by Kat Von D. It's her powder brush. I love this blush. It is so pretty. And I think this blush would complement, you know, a number of skin tones from the darkest of us to the lightest. Now, if you're really, really fair, you might want to use a light hand, but, oh, I love this blush, and I'm trying not to overdo it because, girl, I will put on some blush, okay? <laughs> so now I'm going to go back in with this All the Right Angles Contour Palette from MAC, and I'm going to take this cream highlight. It's called Improper Copper, and I actually have this in the single Oh well, <laughs> but I love it. And I'm using that small pro stippling brush by Sephora, which again is on sale for 15 bucks. I love the way this blends out cream highlight. Do y'all see that? And I wanted even more of a profound highlight, then I would go over this cream highlight with the highlight shade in this palette, which is beautiful, or the one in the All That Angles uh, Contour Palette. But I think I'm just going to go with this. You know what? Why not? <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of this highlight shade from the Marc Jacobs Palette and just kind of set that cream highlight. Whoa. Okay. And I'll add a little bit on my nose. Again, this is from the Marc Jacobs palette. And the names of the colors are on the back of the palette. A little bit on my Cupid's bow. A little bit on my chin. 
also on sale at Sephora and Ulta, I believe, is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Palettes. Y'all, do not sleep on these palettes. Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks are what? $18 a piece. You get... I mean, for a little over the price of one lipstick, you're getting 12 shades in this palette. Um, and this is the Lipstick Junkie palette. This is the one that is sold at Sephora. And those are the colors. And, and of course, I'm not going to use any of the dramatic colors. So I'm going to go in... And I cannot see, man. Because I don't have on my glasses, I cannot see the names of the shades. But I'm going to use probably a mixture of these two shades or one or the other. I love it. It's on sale for $20. So it also comes with a really nice lip brush. And you just pull it up. Pull it up for the brush to come out. I really like it because it's a very stiff lip brush so you can pick up the product and you can pick up the product really nice and you can spread it really easily on your lips. So yeah, I'm using this shade right here. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shade right next to it. And just kind of blend those two shades together. Okay, so I am now ready for work. This is the finished look. But, I don't know. I just feel like I want some color on my lips. So, I'm going to go in with this purple shade. And like I always say on my channel, I am a sucker for purple lipstick. And so I think I'm going to go in a little bit with this purple shade. And I do not know what the name is because I don't have my glasses on and I can't see. But I am going to try to insert the name somewhere on the screen. And the good thing about these lipsticks is that they are buildable. You can make these colors look really bold by, you know, layering it a little bit. Or you can go in somewhat lightly to have a wash of color on your lips. The one downside about this lipstick palette is if you want to touch up. It's a lot easier to carry a tube of lipstick as opposed to this palette for purposes of touch up. So that is the one negative about this palette. But I will say that these lipsticks are pretty long wearing. I have fallen in love with rose water. So I am going to spray a little bit of the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. So this is the finished look. The rose water has dried. I don't know. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions about any of the products that I have shown you today, then feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to respond as soon as possible. I do apologize for being a little bit slow in getting these videos up, um, but you know, life. <laughs> I will post my first video in my Bible journaling series on Sunday. I was supposed to do it this past Sunday, but went out of town and was at my in-laws and so I didn't get a chance to do it. But I will start posting those videos on this coming Sunday. And I think I have a few videos recorded now to where I can start posting at least two to three videos a week. And if I stick to my schedule, <laughs> if I'm able to stick to the schedule that I have planned out for myself, I should be able to do that. So anyway, enough rambling. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by my channel. As always, remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. 
and he loves you. And I'll see you in the next video.